Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's early. It's very early. Today is Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Week, Week number 71. 71. Wow. Wow. Uh, well, my schedule is just a little bit at Costco, so it's really early this morning. Um, a little after six. A little after six. You just went to bed. <laughs> Six o'clock wouldn't come so early if we didn't go to bed so early in the morning. Burning the candle at both ends some days. But it's okay. So you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. You've been do. busy. You've been busy, which is good. Things are happening, things are moving. Well, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit of stuff's moving. A little bit of stuff's moving. Yeah, I'll take that. You want me to start today? Sure, go ahead. I'll start today. Let's do it backwards. Let's do it you first. <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> Totally kidding. Okay, so last week um, I weighed in at 135.8. And this and week. What did you weigh in at this week? 135.8. Oh, well, at least I'm, you're consistent. <laughs> I was going to say I'm consistent. Yeah. <laughs> so no movement for me on the scale, which is good. No no up. Down would be okay, but I'm all right with where I'm at. Um, okay. So, yeah. Well, it's all you. For me, <laughs> last week I was 326.2, and this week I was 325.4, so I'm down 0.8. I'll take any losses on the scale gladly. Yes. Yes. Uh, I did get a 30 hour fast in this week. Uh, I was shooting for 48 and kind of got really thrown off schedule. Yeah, we've been, we've been burning <laughs> some midnight oil here lately. We've uh, taken on another shirt order, a very large shirt order, a couple hundred shirts. So I'm thankful for the work. Yeah. Um, but we both tried to stay up a little later and get more things done. And we just have a lot of work to do. We do. However, we are spreading the spirit. Spreading the spirit. We're at Costco Strong. Costco Strong. Hey, yep. Everybody's loving their shirts um, at work. And uh, it is great camaraderie. Yeah, uh, it's nice morale. to see you all wearing your shirts. Yep, we've got quite a few out there. And, uh, of course, Bill made me, I don't have my new one on today because it's in the wash because we wore it yesterday, but he made me a new one yesterday. And they're like, will you stop coming in with new shirts? <laughs> I yeah. said, no. I said, you know what? i got to do something that makes me happy. and it makes everybody smile. Yeah. And it Even makes the members, right? It's making the members smile. The members are seeing it. Last weekend, we had probably about 35 of us in, in the one shift that had the shirts on. Now, mind you, our shift started at 2 a.m. and we go until now. We have shortened hours, so we're until 6.30 p.m., um, but, but you guys are always in the building working, it seems like, right? Yeah. Is there ever a time where there's no one there? Just a short period. <laughs> it's a little longer now with uh, the adjusted hours, but it's uh, been great to walk through, and our members are noticing, like, hey, I saw that girl, or I saw that guy with that shirt on, uh -huh. and uh, that's really great. I love it. And, and, of course, as they walk past, they're going, oh, she has the shirt, too. Oh, look at him. So it's uh, from our stockers to our cashiers um so it's pretty cool everybody yeah everybody's got them on deli, so, pharmacy, everybody. yeah deli pharmacy food court um oh so yeah, the food yeah. Court too. Yep. <laughs> so it's been pretty cool i think today i'll try and get some pictures um of everybody wearing their shirts and uh, nice. yeah i'd like to see that because i don't really go into costco anymore i mean just trying to stay safe and stay smart Yes. I got a lot of strikes against me on the list of don't get sick. Stacy comes in and she's so diligent about just taking everything off, putting it in the washer, getting a shower, washing everything, scrubbing everything, even her badges and her keys and everything gets Lysol wiped. Lysol wiped. Um, as soon as I get in the car, I, I'm Lysol wiping everything. And when I get out of the car, I'm doing the same thing, including my keys. Bill has the garage door open for me. Yep, you don't have to um, touch anything. So I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Everything comes out of my pockets, including pens. Those all get Lysol wiped down. And uh, 
Yeah, hopefully yeah. you're being really diligent on that. And then I know you're wiping your car down Absolutely. inside, outside handles, doors, every knob. <laughs> you yep. know, every knob, everything. I have a pretty cute little mask that uh, a coworker provided for me. Um, I have so much going on behind my ears with my hearing, hearing aids. aids and my glasses to add one of the uh, masks that Costco is providing for us that goes around the ear. I just can't do it. Is that elastic? <laughs> it's elastic okay. around the ear, and I just can't do it. I got too much going on. I can imagine with the hearing aid and the glasses and the elastic, it would be a little trouble. Oh, my goodness. But this one ties with little strings. Yeah, so this one can... ties. And even, you know, sometimes when that string starts falling down, like last night, I took my hearing aids up, and I showed Bill my ear, and you could see the indentation. indentation. <laughs> so, but that's okay. I can hear. I'm here to hear. And... Wear mask. So you've noticed you're having trouble because you tend to read lips a lot when oh. someone speaks to you, and if they have a mask on, you're not catching what they're saying audibly sometimes. But you would always pick up the slack by reading their lips, and now you can't do that either, right? I can't, and I will tell you, it is a struggle. Um, I feel like I don't have my hearing aids on because I'm saying, I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> well, it's a little muffled too when someone has a mask on. It is. So, so it's been um, it's been challenging. Um, my coworkers. Most of them know that I wear hearing aids, but apparently there's a few that don't because costco has been fantastic and they've been serving us food. So I've been serving so that nobody else is touching anything. Um, That's nice. And when I say, what would you like? And they say it and I say, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You know, and I'm putting my better ear towards them. And after like the second time I have to say, you need to speak can you move your mask because you're about to eat anyway? Can you take your mask down so I can see your lips? <laughs> or speak much louder. <laughs> or speak louder because I can't hear you. So, yeah. uh, but of them know that you have a hearing issue, though. Yeah, so most hopefully. of them know. I think it kind of throws them off because I don't have the... I don't sound like I'm hearing impaired. And you're younger. And I'm... I mean, oh, well, always I'm younger. for our entire, yeah. yeah, we were 25 years old and she would say, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. And she had her hearing aids and everything. And people thought she was joking or, or just being rude by not responding. And it's like, no, she doesn't hear you. And so I'm like, Stace, they're talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Restaurants are the worst. So he's always like, Hey, they hey. asked you what you would like to drink, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But that's so, what I'm here for. I'm here for you. I always tell Bill, I'm here. I'm deaf, I'm blind, you can't leave me. No, I would never leave you. I wouldn't do that. Even if I wasn't deaf or blind, you wouldn't leave me. Nope. I love you. <laughs> very thankful. I'm very thankful. I We're for very God for uh, you every day. Uh, we are very blessed. Um, when one door closes, another one opens. Um, yeah, you gotta kinda look at things like that. You gotta have faith that, you know, things will move forward and we'll yeah. all be okay in this thing. Exactly. The weight's a little less on our shoulders at the moment, so... The weight's a little less on me this week. And it is. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, the last week I had a good week. I think it was like down yeah, you were 1.2 pounds. So. And, you, and you maintain that, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Even with all the food, although I haven't been eating, I'm a picky eater, so I haven't eaten most of the things that Costco provides. Um, yeah, they do some strange, like Chinese or pulled pork. These are not Stacy items. No. <laughs> no. And thank yeah. goodness for the desserts. Usually it's like carrot cake. Oh, something you wouldn't want. Red velvet cake or apple pie. And I'm like, ugh. No, See, I love apple pie. But no. You know, there's an alternative. Probably got to be a swerve alternative or something for the sweetness of an apple pie. Yeah. You just take a little hit with the apple. But <laughs> just a little bite and you could survive, you know. I've done apple pies at Costco in... You are never having no, not at Costco. Costco one. No. They're fantastic, but they're so much sugar. So much sugar. Oh well, speaking of masks, <laughs> we, we have a sewing machine that's never been used or opened. Um, my mom got it for Lauren. Gosh, I want to say like six years ago for Christmas. Lauren yeah. wanted to make something. Cosplay it was cosplay. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was cosplay. <laughs> she wanted to make a costume or an outfit. And she just had the bug to do that. My mom got her sewing machine and some accessories and stuff for it. Well, I guess that kind of, that thought kind of came and passed. And she ended up buying a costume, didn't she, or something? Yeah. Yeah, so it was one of those things where it sat in the closet for the longest time. But when Stacy brought home the mask the other day, yeah. she said, I would like to try and make a mask. 
So <laughs> I pulled the sewing machine out. We've been so busy with shirts that we haven't had the opportunity to look at it, but I'm hoping we can get it threaded up. And uh, I know you have fabric and I know you have um, thread too. Yeah. So we're going to see if we can make a mask for fun. We'll so, see. I don't know if it'll be a video or not. Maybe we'll do it. Let us know in the comments what you think. You want to see us try and make a mask? It might be entertaining just because we've never <laughs> used a sewing machine. So now, we'll see. I used a sewing machine, but that was way back when in the old days. 40 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when we were uh, in, in high, high school. school. Yeah. In the 80s. Yeah, I did, I did pretty pretty good, but okay. you know, that's been a long time ago. Anybody that knows us knows that. If something is ripped, seam is ripped, needs Buttons, a button, whatever. That's even me. the kids that go to dad, not me. That's me. And they say, hey, honey, can you fix this? <laughs> yeah, but I'm talking about hand sewing with thread right. and needle, not, not sitting there making masks. Yeah, but so. I don't even do the hand sewing part. Bill yeah, I'm, does. <laughs> I'm really curious, though, if you guys have a particular template or a particular video that you guys have watched that you like. I think you want to stick similar to the style of the mask you have now. Yeah. You like it, right? So Bill will post a picture of it um, because it's a full face, so it comes out here and then um, it comes all the way up and, and down below the chin. I do like it. I think I feel like I have more coverage. Um, Inside's flannel, right? Inside is like, yeah, flannel. Um, yeah, very soft. Um, so if you have a easy keyword easy template let me know um we've been watching a youtube to see if we can find one i definitely want the full face one though because it makes a difference okay and i touch my face less yeah you touch the mask versus the face then you bring it home and wash it actually i don't even i'm not even touching You're the doing mask much i'm doing i'm doing very good yeah i'm sure i probably touched my face five times during this video <laughs> Now I know I did too because my head is just on my eyeball. Right now I just got like sleep in my eyes because it's like 6 a.m. and I'm tired. But oh well. But we're doing really good. We're staying home. We're staying safe. We're staying healthy. Um, following the protocol of not really going out unless we have to. I have to go to the post office today, but I'm going to go in, drop off, and get out. That's my plan. Yes. Well. Anywho. Anywho. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with us today. And if you saw yesterday, I did a Death Wish coffee review video. I love that stuff. It is so smooth. It is so tasty. I think I even got Stacy almost ready to try it because it does have that berry and chocolate undertone. And it's so smooth. It's almost, <laughs> gosh, it's the closest thing to like a, I wouldn't say hot chocolate, but I mean, it's just... I didn't know there was such a difference between that and like Donut House or McCafe, the K-Cups that I use. Yeah. Um, there is a huge smoothness factor to that that I never expected. And uh, it's it's a super high caffeine coffee, so I only have it in the morning. But uh, <laughs> I don't notice any jitteriness or, or shakiness or anything like, ooh, you know, like a Red Bull kind of moment or anything. <laughs> I guess maybe just because I drink so much coffee in general anyway. Yeah. I would typically have two or three cups of coffee between 7 a.m. and 10, p 10 a.m. But um, yeah. I tend not to drink coffee at night. Anything after like 4 or 5 o'clock maybe is just a decaf if I have any. But uh, man, Death Wish coffee, I like it. Is my is my new favorite for a while now. <laughs> and the Stacey, first time he had it, he was like, wow, this is, you might like this, Stace. I don't did. like the smell of coffee. Well, it's going to smell um, the same, but yeah. I don't know. I, did, I hate buying coffee. Bill says, could you get some coffee? And I have to go down the coffee aisle. It's like I want to hold my breath. Hmm. I don't no, know. No, it's good. And there's even a Fat Bomb recipe that you wanted to try for yes. your macros that uh, one of them did call for coffee. Yes. So I can brew you a little <laughs> bit of Death Witch. Death wish and put that in for whatever amount you need, and I'll drink the rest. Just two tablespoons. Don't go to waste. Oh, no problem. I can drink the rest then. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that fresh, and then you'll make your fat bomb. I'll record it for you so we can get you a video. And I'll say I've tasted Death Wish coffee. That's right. Your first taste of coffee. Have you ever even had coffee? Ever? No, because I don't even like the smell of it. We're going to make Stacy try coffee. Um, uh... Let's do that. <laughs> 
That sounds like fun. <laughs> Come on, we all need some like entertainment lately. Let's just have Stacy try coffee Am I for here the to first time. Entertain you? Yes, oh. like a clown. <laughs> I amuse you. You do. I do every amuse day. You, don't I? <laughs> I think that's why she sticks around. That's the secret. What, 30 years now we've been together and you just don't know what's going to come out of my mouth next. So she just kind of hangs out to see what the time of the act of the day is. <laughs> For the record, it's 31. 31. But who's counting? It's early in the morning. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm in the Never. right decade at least. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks again for hanging out with us. Um, hopefully you see more of us this week. I don't know. Um, it's a keto channel and all, but the mask thing sounds kind of fun, and I have a feeling it would be funny to see us try and use the sewing machine. I have no idea how effective the mask would be. I've seen those videos where they try and blow out like a lighter, uh, and, you know, just to see if it's going through the mask or yeah. whatever. Uh, does yours have an internal filter? No. No. Because I've seen some that have an internal pocket, and then they sell insert filters that you could buy like on Amazon. Have you ever heard of that place? Amazon, um, what's that? Yeah, so I thought maybe if, if it isn't too technically hard to make that little pocket, maybe we could get those <laughs> and then you could just wash the mask but then insert a new filter every day or two or something. I'm not sure. We'd have to read the directions. The cloth mask is really nice because I do wash it every night when I get home with everything else. Uh, so it smells nice and fresh. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get Stacy off to work. I got to get to the post office and then I've got to get to my little sweatshop of t-shirts and start <laughs> making more t-shirts. Thank you. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you too. I'm sales and marketing. Oh, I'm sweatshop work. <laughs> I sweatshop work too. Sweatshop worker number one. <laughs> I'm sweatshop <laughs> worker number two. Make that shirt. Sweatshop worker <laughs> number one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Be safe. Be safe.